Hey folks, uh, this lesson is um, we're solving quadratic equations, uh, whichever method fits us the best, okay? So we've learned how to factor, how to square root, how to complete the square, uh, the good old quadratic formula. So it just depends on, on the setup. So, so what method should we use when we're solving quadratic equations? Okay, so here this says solve using the quadratic formula. So a is 1, b is negative 6, and, and c is negative 7. So good old quadratic formula. This is the same problem that we did in, in uh, module 9.3. This is part 1. So this was, I think, number 1 in section D. So there it is with the quadratic formula. All of that work, and if you didn't make a mistake, you would have gotten 7 or negative 1. The quadratic formula works on every quadratic equation, every one, um, uh, but it makes it kind of hard on this one right here because you're just losing a bunch of negatives right there. So we're going to solve this same thing by factoring, okay? So factors of negative 7 that add to negative 6 are negative 7 times uh, positive 1. So it factors to x minus 7, x plus 1. Okay, so now we set these factors equal to 0. Say hi, Alpez. Hi, uh, how are you? Good. <laughs> uh, so when you set them equal to zero, so then plus seven, plus seven, minus one, minus one, and then uh, you get uh, the same answer, okay? Factoring's way faster, more efficient if you can factor, okay? In fact, I wouldn't use the quadratic formula unless you had to, okay? So, so here's the methods I would choose, you guys. So the first method is if you can factor it, then go ahead and factor it and set the factors equal to zero. It's the best, quickest, most efficient way. If you can't factor it, and if it begins with a 1x squared and it has an even bx term, then complete the square. I'll give you a couple examples like that. And then if uh, if those don't work, then, then go ahead and use the quadratic formula. So if it's like a 3x squared and it doesn't factor, or if we got an x squared minus 7x, which is an odd number, um, I wouldn't want to complete the square with it, but if you can factor it, factor it, you guys. And if it's a nice uh, completing the square friendly one where it's a 1x squared and your bx is even, uh, complete the square. Otherwise, use the quadratic formula, okay? So here's our good old quadratic formula right there, okay? All right, so let's get started. So let's solve. Here's a couple that's completing the square. You see how that's a 1x squared and that's an even number, okay? So let's get rid of this excuse me, get rid of the 1, so I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides, okay, and then we take half of this number, half of 8 is 4, 4 squared is 16, so we're going to add 16 to both sides, okay, so half of 8 squared is 16, so there we go, add 16 to both sides, and then this makes a nice perfect square trinomial, it factors to a binomial squared, this factors to x plus 4 squared, okay, so then that equals over here we get negative um, 1 plus 16 is 15, and now we square root both sides, don't forget your plus or minus, Okay, subtract 4, and there you go. Okay, let's try it with this one. Okay, this one's another completing the square friendly one, because that's a 1x squared, and that's an even number. So let's go ahead and plus 4 to both sides. Half of 12 is 6. 6 squared is 36, so we add 36 to both sides. Then this side factors to x minus 6 squared, and then the other side adds to 40. Plus or minus, okay, so don't forget um, uh, the plus or minus. And then 40 breaks down over here. It's 5 times 8, 5 is prime. 8 is 2 times 4, that's prime. And 4 is 2 times 2. So here's 40 right there. So the square root of 40 is the square root of all of those. So a couple of 2's come out, and we get 2 root 10. Okay, so then add 6 to both sides, so x equals 6 plus or minus 2 root 10, okay? So here, let's solve using any method, okay? If we can factor, it's always the best. Factors of 10 that add to negative 7 are negative 5 times negative 2. And you set the factors equal to 0, and you solve, and piece of cake. Okay? All right, this one here, okay? This is a difference of squares. This is, uh, this follow this pattern, uh, x squared minus y squared is x plus y times x minus y. So it's 5x plus 7, 5x minus 7. Once you get a factor, then you can set the factors equal to 0, okay? And then solve, and then subtract 7, and add 7, and divide by 5, and we get plus or minus 7 fifths, okay? All right, here it doesn't equal 0, so we're going to subtract 2 from both sides and make it equal to 0. And then let's see if this factors. So I multiply 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Are there any factors of negative 15 that add to negative 4? 
Well, I can't find any, so since that's uh, not a 1x squared, I'm going to go ahead and use the quadratic formula, okay? So x equals opposite this negative 4, so opposite b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. All right, and if I did my number crunching correctly, we get uh, 16 plus 60 in there, which is 76. The square root of 76 is 2 root 19. All right, and then uh, since these are all divisible by 2, we can all reduce them by divisibility by 2. Okay, so we get 2 plus or minus root 19 all over 3. All right, how about this guy? Okay, so this one, uh, there's no factors of negative 7 that add to negative 4, but this one's a completing the square friendly one because that's a 1x squared and that's an even number. Okay, so let's add 7 to both sides and then take half of 4. Uh, half of 4 is 2. 2 squared is 4, so we're going to add 4 to both sides and then factor and square root. Don't forget your plus or minus. Add 2. There you go. Okay, all right, this one here it doesn't equal zero. We got to make it equal to zero, so we got to foil this out first and then subtract 4x to make it equal to zero. So let's foil that out right there. Okay, so there it is. Now we'll subtract 4x. Okay, so negative 6x minus 4x gets us negative 10x. Okay, and then this factors, you guys, so um, this factors to 9x minus 1 and x minus 1, and then set those factors equal to zero and solve. And we get uh, one ninth or one. Okay, factoring's the best if you guys can factor. All right, this one here. This one's kind of tricky. So it doesn't equal zero. So what we got to do is foil this out and then distribute the two through and then make it equal to zero after that and see if we can factor it. Okay, so there's that all foiled out and then distribute that two through and then let's clean it all up, make it equal to zero. 18 minus uh, 5 is 13 and then subtract 3 from both sides, we get plus 10. Then these are all even numbers. Zero is divisible by everything, so let's divide everything by 2. Okay, and then factors of 5 that add to 6 are 5 and 1, and set the factors equal to 0, and you get the answer right there. All right, if you are in our class, there would be your, your assignment. Take care.